Hi. Um, we all know that arthritis, it's a pretty tough number. And, you know, just sometimes you just kind of get a little bit fed up with it and a whole lot. But there's not much we can do about it. It's a chronic illness. It's, it's something we got to live with. But with diet, with all of the recipes I'm doing, we have to just figure out really what works for us. It's so individual. I've been talking to lots of people with various types of arthritis and the amount of triggers from food in particular that various people have is, it's, it's incredible. Some people it might be tomatoes, it might be nightshade vegetables, other people it's dairy, other people it might be basically gluten. The list just goes on and on and on. So it's impossible for me, in my opinion anyway, to just explain and give a kind of a one size fits all solution. It just doesn't exist. So what I'm trying to do here is create a kind of a database and a, a selection of recipes and basically build a kind of a community, if you like, that we can all try to figure out what works for us as individuals, because it's going to be so, so individual. But the one thing I do know, and it doesn't matter what arthritis we have, or with di it's, it's getting our diet right. Diet is our best supplement. It's one of our best tools. And if we can get that right and figure out what our individual diets are and what's the best strategies we take as individuals, then we have a good chance of managing this, this condition a lot better. Now, this is a complement to medical care. It's not a replacement by any stretch of the imagination. And with this recipe, what I'm going to do is, it's, it's very important with meals that they include a good balance. Getting good balance is everything. And so meals should have good se selections of vegetables, fibers, and they should ha also have good quality protein. With this recipe, I'm going to use eggs, I'm going to use some pak choy, mushrooms, mushroom being that interesting vegetable that when they're left in sunlight, the vitamin D content of mushrooms increases dramatically. So it's a good idea to store your mushrooms uh, in a sunny place. You're going to get a lot more vitamin D out of them. I'm going to flavor this dish with a little bit of sriracha seasoning. Uh, you'll get this in oriental shops, supermarkets. It's pretty common. And you don't necessarily even have to use the sriracha seasoning. You could use a Cajun seasoning. Any of these kind of seasonings will do this. And, uh, use these recipes more as guidelines as well. You know, little templates. And that, that way you can come in and change the seasonings, maybe change some of the vegetables and the like. I'm going to use pak choy. You could just as easily use broccoli. But with the eggs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a seven minute egg. So kind of towards a hard boiled egg, but a little bit soft and runny in the middle. And I'm going to, again, just cook my mushrooms very easily, get a nice little bit of flavoring onto them. Very, very simple dish, just a couple of ingredients here. And, um, and it's the kind of dish that could be used for a brunch, for a lunch, you know, or a light dinner. You know, it, it's one of those dishes that is very, very versatile. So I'm going to get on and cook this dish and hopefully you might give it a go and enjoy it. First, bring a pot of water, suitable size, to a nice rolling boil, add your eggs in, and time for seven minutes. Add your little drop of olive oil to a pan, and now add your mushrooms into the pan. You can also, at this stage, add about a tablespoon of water. Season lightly. A little salt and pepper. Cover and cook till tender. At this point also, add your sriracha seasoning to the mushrooms. And now allow cook over a medium heat, keeping an eye on it as they cook. As your mushrooms start to tenderize, as you can see, and I'm going to add my pak choy. At this point, add a couple of tablespoons of water. Cover the pan, and allow cook again over a moderate heat until the pak choy becomes tender. After seven minutes boiling, 
your eggs should be just nicely cooked. So remove from the water and just allow them to stand for maybe a minute before peeling them. When you have your eggs peeled and they're still nice and hot, we're now going to finish the dish. So I'm going to again come back to my pak choy. And as you can see, with the mushrooms, it's just nicely cooked. And now I'm going to add my scallions at the very end. I can just check my seasoning and adjust if necessary. And that's what you want, a little bit of the moisture on, top, on the bottom because that's full of flavors and glutamates and it just keeps the dish nice and succulent. So to plate this dish, I'm just going to take my plate. I'm just going to lay my mushrooms pak choy on as they fall on the plate. And then I'm just going to take my eggs and very simply slice them in half. And as you can see, what I just wanted was that kind of slightly, slightly runny egg in the middle. I'm going to take two eggs for myself, but you could just as easily just use one if you felt like it. And then finally, I'm just going to enrich the dish with just a little drizzle of a good quality olive oil. And that is it. Our little um, pak choy mushrooms flavored with a little sriracha and a nice little balanced high protein, high vitamin D, and very nutritious dish.